Okay. And here we have a Roby Charlie parachutist. And I'm piloting it. It's radio control. And uh, it was quite a windy day that day. And fa fairly cloudy. This was coming down to land. This was during the evening. And as you can see, I landed it. It's fairly fairly big model. Uh, this is my micro mold Wallace. This is a condition that I got it in when I first um, acquired it. It was in quite a small state. Uh, it had no engine, no radio gear. Quite some of the parts were missing. The 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 main frame part, the, the metal aluminium frame part you can see there, was totally um, ruined. Then you've got the uh, the actual model there of me actually I've started the model up and I've built a, built a special rig for it to go on so it doesn't zoom away and I've been basically testing the um, the motor blades not sure that they would that I'd actually bounce them properly which I have and I was testing the pre-spin up device as you can see as I increase the throttle the picture is a bit jumpy because we're up to take this from a VHS cassette. Um, as you notice, the rotor blades will actually angle back slightly, as they would do as the phase in flight. It uses a super custom point. 61 engine, uh, two stroke, uh, a bloke that I'll go through, uh, it's got a fairly big tank on it, it's on the side, uh, and the rotor, but rotor diameter is uh, 63 inches. Now in this, in this shot you can see I've actually painted it to look like the little Nelly from a James Bond film. If you notice the rockets on the front, I used, I used, originally I used two pens and it didn't quite look, look, it looked not right so in the end I, I changed them to a couple of bicycle pumps that I, I use and cut up and uh, modified um, so as, it is, as it is today um, and that's about it really, uh, that's the front of the model uh, it weighs about two pounds in, in weight total uh, there's my little man on there, little Ken Wallace. Thank you.